Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna go pick up the holiday trailer and uh, do some winterizing. Let's go. Here we are with our 2013 Solaire Palomino. We're going to bring this home and uh, get it ready for winter storage. It doesn't look like anybody broke in, that's good. I always like to leave uh, my hitch and stuff ready to go um, so I don't get all the way out here and then forget to have it with me. Over here, Got my hitch lock, make sure nothing gets stolen. One key. Just put that in the back of the truck here, but I'll walk you through all the steps that I go through. Um, just the basic hitching up, a couple checks, and then once we get it home, um, I'll show you the way that I prefer to winterize it. I've never had a problem, and I've had campers for over a decade. First, we'll reconnect. No tools required. Get our chains out of the way. It's always a good idea. I've seen people do this a million times where when the ball comes back they try to get it right in the middle you don't want that because a lot of times this clasp will rub against the ball what I like to do is keep the ball just a little bit ahead and when you see as we lower it down it'll pull itself forward and it'll stay clear of the clasp and then this will slide under the ball like you want and you won't be fiddling around with it, jumping up and down, throwing a temper tantrum because you're trying to figure it out. the ball is about lined up with the front of this piece of steel. Done. No struggles.
here we are. We're going to winterize the trailer. First, we're going to bypass the hot water tank and drain it, so I'll show you that. But I can't get back there until I make some room, so let's open the kitchen slide. All right, we're in the back of the trailer. The hot water tank is, uh, for us anyway, it's under this bed. Okay, so if you look down here, your hot water output is here, and your cold water feed is there. We want to bypass the tank completely, so we're going to shut off the top valve. We're going to shut off the bottom valve, and we're going to open the bypass valve. So now the water coming in on the blue line stops here, can't go into the tank anymore. It'll continue up here and it'll come out and it'll feed both the cold and the hot water line. So we don't have to worry about this filling up with any more water while it's stored for the winter. So let's take the anode rod out and drain it. Hey, nice. Water tank. Here's our drain here. You'll always want, almost always, a 1 and 1 16th socket. Might get wet. It might have already been drained, I can't remember. Yeah, I already drained it. Otherwise, this would just be water coming out, no big deal. It's the anode rod. Everything's attracted to it, so it doesn't uh, uh, build up on the inside of your tank. So you want to take this out every winter. Okay, I like to set up a table because we're gonna be siphoning the uh, plumbing antifreeze through the entire system. Um, but before I get to that, when I leave it just in between camping, I don't like the water to get stale inside, so I take out the low point uh, drain caps so the water can just freely dribble out. I'm going to put these back on just while we're cycling this through and then we'll talk about that part later. Is it all good? What's in there? <laughs> This is a direct line to the pump. So we're gonna put that in here. Take off the cap. You can see it still had the pink in it before, but there is a valve. I don't know if you can see in here. There is a valve at the top of the feed line. Up here, you need to turn that valve. Make sure we get the right one here. There it is. Open it. There we go. And that will make sure that the water that you would hook up to here is bypassed. I want to make sure this is in the bottom. Right there. I can see it. Okay. So now what we have to go do is go turn on the pump and start running water through every tap. Okay, we'll turn our water pump on. This will build up the pressure. I'll start with the toilet. And I will just gently push the pedal until the water is the uh, same color as what's in the jug. Right now it's pulling all the clean water through. There we go, can you see the pink? Perfect. Before we start the kitchen, 
Let's check our level in the uh, container. So as you can see, we've used about half. We should have enough to finish the job, but I always bring extra just in case. Okay, so now we're gonna turn off the pump. We've got everything filled with plumbing antifreeze. So I gotta turn that off so the pressure is no longer in there. Now we're gonna open every tap that we just went through. Um, I prefer to do it that way. Some people like to leave the pressurized in the line. I prefer not to. So I leave everything open. All right, winterizing's done. Uh, off camera, I lubricated the seals on the slides and stuff like that. Um, it is sagging a little bit in the back end. That's because I forgot to put air in the airbags uh, on my way over. So we're just gonna top that up right now. I installed a air ride system with a manual fill in the back. For the next truck, if I do this, I will have a uh, onboard compressor. We want about 70 to 80 pounds. Today's video, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or I glazed over any of the details and you want some more info, please let me know in the comments. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your support. Please hit that like button and we'll talk to you later.